Hey, what's up guys? It's Gage from ARG and we're going to be talking about Demon Emperor Angmar today, which is actually, it was mistranslated originally here from this uh, article in the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization as uh, it was like uh, Angmar the Witch Monarch originally, which is, it's an uh, understandable mistake because the stats are similar to pretty much every level 6 monarch there is. So, I'm not really sure which way it is to go, if it's Demon Emperor Angmar or the Witch Monarch of Angmar, but regardless, we have this really awesome card to talk about today and we're going to go over it. So, which a demon emperor Angmar when this card is tribute summoned you can banish one spell card from your graveyard add one card with the same name as the banished card from your deck to your hand so what's interesting about this card well if we look at it at a monarch standpoint which I'm going to be referring to a lot just because it's the same stats pretty much same statistics as any other monarch would have uh, being the fact that it's 24,000 makes it pretty really on par with every single other monarch but the effect is somewhat different than what we've had for every other monarch uh, pretty much released. Uh, looking at all the other level 6 monarchs we've had, Ryza, Caius, uh, Thestalos, all of these cards, they share one thing in common, and it's getting rid of your opponent's cards. However, this kind of monarch takes on a little different approach, helping you net advantage off of cards in your graveyard, which is interesting because there hasn't really been a monarch, at least a level 6 one, that helps you net advantage. Uh, and doesn't take away from your opponent. So I really like kind of that design of the card here, taking it into account that it's just different. And there's a lot of utility in this card being the way it is. Uh, really different. If you we look at it in the fact that it's like, if we look at it at a demock standpoint, sure, there just isn't too many powerful one of spell cards to get from your graveyard to really make it worthwhile. However, I do think this card is actually pretty good since the fact that it is a lot easier to summon than demock, but it also has the built-in utility of just adding back all of those one ofs and also some more recent cards that have been brought to light that are really really powerful right now uh one card that i can think of offhand is uh, adding back a wavering eyes from your graveyard in a pendulum based deck and that just seems really fucking good because of the fact that we can just pendulum summon a whole bunch of monsters and then doing all the stuff we might have a spare hat tr uh, a spare trick clown excuse me i was gonna say hat trigger a spare trick clown or something just laying on the field that we special summon off of its fact that we can sack off to summon this thing to get that advantage uh, by adding back the Wavering Eyes, and you really don't utilize your normal summon as much as you'd like in that deck if you, unless you're normal summoning, of course, Mask a Million, or you can just Pendulum Summon it. So there's a lot of space to really be able to, a lot of wiggle room, actually, to be able to uh, weave Demon Emperor Angmar into there and slowly getting back the advantage, uh, maybe adding back another Wavering Eyes if you did it for two rather than four, which puts your opponent under a lot more pressure to work around another Wavering Eyes instead of the first one. So I really, really like Demon Emperor Angmar as a card. You are able to add it off of cards like Return of the Monarchs, which is really powerful. So if you re and you can also reveal it in your hand as one of the cards for Tenacity of the Monarchs to get to your other cards important in the Monarch deck. So it does kind of weave into the fact that it is kind of uh, an on its own a Monarch monster, even though it may not say it in the title. Again, I'm not sure. It's uh, on the organization website. It says it's uh, a Monarch on the official wiki. It says it's a demon emperor. I don't know. It's however you really want to interpret it by that. I don't think it affects too much if it's not a monarch because it does have the same stats. And that stat point is really important when activating cards like return and such. So in all, all together, I really, really like Demon Emperor Agmar as a card. I think it's really unique. And as a monarch, if it is a monarch, it's one that we haven't seen before. And it definitely has the most unique effect out of all of them. Also, the artwork looks gorgeous. Just, just look at that artwork. Wow. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of Demon Emperor Agmar. Do you think it has a lot of uh, potential, or do you think I'm just kind of crazy and I'm looking at it too much? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just that kind of person. But, yeah, if you guys want to buy or sell product, if you want to attend hall events, and if you want to read articles from the top of the top of players, all three out of is your place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But, as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Gage from ARG, signing out.